So I want to show you how to work with categorical data using pandas, at least to get a start doing it. So I, I've set up this sheet to walk us through the process. Uh, the first step here is we're, we're going to want to load the pandas data frame in, into this Jupyter sheet that I have set up for uh, uh, Python 3. Okay, and so I, I've, I've typed this in to save time. Uh, first, we import pandas as PD, that, that is as usual. Okay, and our number shows up, hey, it's imported. Then I want to load this fake data that I've created in, in order to, uh, to demonstrate uh, some stuff. Uh, and I've been careful to lo uh, label this as fake data because we have some real data that we're going to be using in some later, later lessons. And so I'm going to call this data frame that I load up uh, cat data. Okay, right here. Uh, I'm, I'm loading it differently. I'm using a, a not the, an Excel file this time. I'm using a CSV file. CSV stands for comp, comma separated variables. And in reality, you can uh, separate your variables or, or var values uh, with something besides a comma. It's just a comma is the most common thing. Uh, this is saved in a text file rather than an Excel file, and it's much more efficient in terms of space. We just need the data. We don't need all uh, of the, uh, the wingdings that come along with Excel. Okay, so I select, I shift, I enter, and I, I've loaded it. Okay. I've got the two up there, but I always like to, to make sure that I've loaded it. So here I've got the uh, cat data entered. I'm going to type in uh, H-E-A-D because I know this has about 200 lines in it. I just want to look at the first few to see that it's there. And there we go. And so what do I have here? I have uh, People have come in and given information about themselves. Uh, their sex, which we denote as M and F, is male and female. Uh, the marital status, never married. The, some have been divorced. Some have been uh, married, etc. We have the political party. We have their weight, which isn't categorical data, but often you have uh, categorical data and numerical data stored in the same entry. So, so each of these lines corresponds to one person that is filled out. Over here in this column, we have at index zero through, uh, you know, however many data items. Uh, sometimes the these indices can be chosen differently. So. What I want to do here is to, to show how we can break this out by different categories. And I'm going to use a group by command. And uh, here in this first one, I'm just going to group by a single category. And uh, that category will be sex. And I'm going to do a count on this and count the number. I want to show you what happens. I've, I shift, I enter, and what I have is it's grouped by sex, male and female. So I have only two rows here, the female row, the male row. It usually puts them out here in alphabetical order. And uh, what I have in my columns, I have the marital status, the party, the weight, and the height. But all it's doing is it's counting the number of uh, females that has a marital status, the number of females that has a party, the number of females that has a weight, number of females that has a height. So these are all the same number because we have 111 females in, in this data set. 
in the same way we have 89 males. Now, I can, can break these out and group them into multiple categories. Okay, so when I do that, uh, here, you know, uh, and originally I just used my one column heading as my argument. When I use several, okay, I'm going to group these within a list, and I have a, in, in Python, when we use a list, we put these between square brackets and then separate the items of the list with a comma. Here, my list items are marital status, this right here, and sex. Okay, and again, I'm going to do a count on this. Okay, and so I shift, enter, and again, I, I've done counting. So here among my divorced, I have 21 females and 21 males. Okay, and it doesn't break out for their party affiliation. It's just left there. Okay, I'm going to do this again. Okay, uh, I'm going to group by marital status, sex, and party affiliation. And I shift and press enter. And again, it's broken out. Okay. In, into all of these different pieces. Okay. And so, like this number here, 36. Okay. What it means is I have among my married people that are female, 36 are Democrats and 19 are Republicans. Among my married people that are male, 15 are Democrats and 20 are Republicans. Um, among the folks that are never married and are female and, and Democrats, there are 11. Uh, the never married male Republicans are seven. Okay, so you see how this group by works out. Okay. I'm beginning to get annoyed, okay, by these extra things. So I'm going to go back to where I broke things out by sex. And I'm going to show you how to filter that down. Okay. So when we filter out by sex and when we count, we create a, a data frame. Uh, I'm just going to pick out the party data, uh, the party column on that. And when I press there, I, I get, okay, uh, the sex is male and female. And my, my data frame here is just by party at, you know, 111 and 89. I, I've just filtered down. I'm just showing that. Okay. Now, uh, I have 200 data items here. What if I wanted to know what proportion of all of my data fit into the female category? I take, you know, by definition, I take 111 divided by the total number 200. Uh, so I'm just doing arithmetic in this notebook. Now I shift, I press enter, and so I have a proportion of 0.55. Okay. Now, say I want to do a pi plot, because when we have categorical data and are thinking about proportions, okay, I, I uh, pi plot is a handy thing. So uh, I want to break out by marital, group by marital status. I want to count them, but I want to, to break it down to just one of the categories so that I can plot it. Um, so I put the sex here, then plot, dot plot, and then dot pi, and I have parentheses after my dot pi. I shift, I enter, Okay. Okay. Shift, enter. All right, let's try that again. It's supposed to come up with a pipe lock. Okay. I, sometimes you just have to hit it harder. <laughs> okay. You know, you shouldn't have to, but sometimes it goes back and it works. Um, now, I do this 
but I'm kind of annoyed over here because I have sex there. You know, this, this married, divorced, widowed, that sex over there is dis distracting. Okay. What I'm going to do, I, I want to, to get out of that. I'm going to create a new data frame. I'm going, just going to, to take this original count up here and I'm going to make it a data frame by itself. Okay. And call it mar underscore df. Okay. And now, once I've got that, I'm going to rename it. Okay. Re rename uh, this as I'm going to say number there. Okay. And so I and I, I'm careful to put this in place equal true there uh, because that'll rename it as it is rather than just uh, so if you don't put it there it it creates a one-time data frame that has that name sometimes in certain situations you, you do that if you don't want to muddy up your original data so i shift i enter and hey i've got this table and look it has renamed it from sex to number okay now if i if I plot this as before, uh, it's got number there being my title rather than sex, okay, which you know can be distracting for some people.